UFC 194, Aldo versus McGregor. Sponsored by EA Sports, UFC 2, fight for the cover. Will it be Aldo or McGregor? Find out tonight who joins Ronda Rousey on the cover of EA Sports UFC 2. Available this spring on Xbox One and PS4. And now it's time for our main event of the evening. Five rounds of fighting for the UFC featherweight championship. Aldo McGregor. It is time to fight. July 11th. That's when this man became the interim champion. There's so many factors to this fight, Mike. The unusual movement of Conor McGregor, his adaptation, use of traditional martial arts techniques like wheel kicks and spinning back kicks and front kicks to the body, as well as the Muay Thai techniques, but a, a different and unusual rhythm. The breaking up of his attack. Varying of his speed, very, 
very deceptive in the way he moves, along with ferocious knockout power and an excellent chin. One thing that may be a factor in this fight was when Chad Mendez was taking him down and battering him on the ground. He was unable to finish Conor McGregor, but he took him down several times. Jose Aldo is a much more skilled ground fighter than Chad Mendez. In 2008, Conor McGregor said it was his dream to be a world champion in the UFC. Seven years later, he's got his chance. Cover VA Sports UFC 2, available this spring, Xbox One, PS4, seven straight title defenses, 18 straight victory. Another factor in this fight may be Aldo's training. He brought in Andy Sauer, who's a multiple-time world champion kickboxer. That's hard Dutch-style kickboxing which Aldo employs inside the octagon. He did a lot of extensive sparring with Andy Sauer. It's a very high-level guy to have in your camp when you're kickboxing. This will be a battle in many ways between styles. The hard-style Dutch kickboxing and the eclectic karate-based style that Conor McGregor employs, along with his spectacular boxing technique and knockout power. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Brought to you by the new movie, The Hateful Eight, starring Samuel L. Jackson in select theaters December 25th. The Champion 29, The Challenger 27. The interim champion, two inches taller, Conor McGregor, will have a four-inch reach advantage. With the official introductions, one more time, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Presented by EA Sports UFC 2. Fight for the cover. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. Chairman Anthony Varnell. Executive Director Bob Bennett. Commissioners Francisco Aguilar, Skip Avancino, Pat Lundball, and Michonne Martin. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon Side are Saul Amato, Derek Clearly, and Junichiro Camillo. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, John McCarthy. This bout is sponsored by Bud Light, the perfect beer for whatever 
never happens. Metro PCS, where you can get nationwide coverage on the blaring fast 4G LTE T-Mobile network for just $30, period. And EA Sports UFC 2, fight for the cover. Will it be Aldo or McGregor? Find out now. And now, this is the moment UFC fans watching around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC featherweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner of Nick Marcellanis, holding a professional record. 18 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, presenting the pride of Ireland, the challenger, the interim UFC featherweight champion, the notorious Conor McGregor! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record, 25 wins, one loss. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the former WEC featherweight champion and the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Jose Aldo Junior. Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. I want you to fight harder, but I want you to fight clean. If you want to touch gloves, touch them now. Good, step back, let's, good luck. Big John had that one under control. Jose Aldo, Conor McGregor, the most highly anticipated featherweight fight of all time. Conor looks extremely loose, and Aldo looks like he's feeling the pressure of this moment. Here we go! Green trunks for the southpaw, the notorious Conor McGregor. Black trunks for the champion, Jose Aldo Jr. Conor relaxed and smiling. Oh! She slipped him! There! Conor McGregor is the new UFC featherweight champion of the world! Oh! Unbelievable! The first punch he threw slept him. Wow. Well, we're going to have to see that again. Did he throw a punch before that, or was that the first punch he threw? I think he went to throw a left and missed before that. So it might be the third punch he threw. But man! Wow, he just went over and hugged Jose Aldo. And Aldo had a look at his face like he had no idea what was going on. He's, he's holding his hands up. He's confused right now. He's saying what happened. Legitimately one punch KO. Let's Joe, see let's it again. Watch it. Fight replay brought to you by Bud Light. The perfect beer for whatever happens. Straight left, and Aldo connected with a left right afterwards, and he, he connected as he was getting knocked out. Look at that. Boom. And then hammer fist. Out cold. And that's it. That's incredible. One more look at it. Boom. Left hand, out cold, hammer fist. Incredible that he connected with a punch as his brain was shutting off. 
Let's look at it one more time. Straight left. And boom. It doesn't get any cleaner than that, ladies and gentlemen. First time Jose Aldo has been knocked out. Conor McGregor, the notorious one, the new UFC undisputed featherweight champion of the world. First man to beat Aldo in over a decade. Fastest title fight finish ever. Bettering Ronda Rousey's 14 second arm bar. Jose Aldo in shock and disbelief. No one would have predicted that. Truly amazing. First punch and the finish. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee John McCarthy's called a stop to this contest at 13 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, the notorious Connor Just wow. No controversy, no confusion, clean. The new undisputed featherweight champion of the world, Conor McGregor. Give me your thoughts. Um, again, nobody can take that left hand shot, but I tell you, he's, he's powerful and he's fast, but precision beats power and timing beats speed. And that's what you saw there. So I, honestly, I feel for Jose, he's a, he's a phenomenal champion. He was a phenomenal champion. He deserved, we deserve to go a little bit longer, but I still feel at the end of the day, uh, precision beats power and timing beats speed all day of the week. So it would have happened sooner or later, but. Connor, let's look at it. He moved in, you slid to the side and landed a beautiful left hand on the chin. And he landed a, a left hand of his own as he was going out cold. Went down, you finished him off with hammer fist. Look at it one more time from a different angle. No power, no power, no power just precision. No speed, just timing. These are, these are fundamentals, so that's all it takes. These are four ounce gloves, that's all it takes. And especially when you add my left hand, nobody can take that left hand shot. You looked incredibly relaxed coming in here into the octagon. How did you feel in comparison to your first title fight with Chad Mendez? Give me your thoughts on what this experience has been like for you and the love of all these Irish fans that have come here to support you. I swear to God, yesterday at the weigh-in, yesterday at the weigh-in, I didn't want to get off the stage because the last time in July when I fought for the belt that time, I didn't embrace it all and I wanted to just embrace every bit of it a bit more because sometimes it's over before you even know it and then you're like, I wish I was in the moment a bit more. So this time I was a hell of a lot more in the, in the moment and just enjoying the whole process. Well, congratulations, sir. You are now also on the cover of the new EA Sports game along with Ronda Rousey. You are the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world. You did it all, sir. Congratulations. I'm here with the former champion, Jose Aldo. Jose, how much, if any, of the fight can you remember? Você consegue lembrar alguma coisa da luta? Ele jogou direto no meu peito, eu esperava isso. E quando fui atacá-lo, ele acertou um bom direto. Aí pegou ali, mas eu creio que essa luta aí, eu acho que agora a gente tem que partir para uma revanche. 
Acho que não termina daí, né? Eu acho que foi muito rápido ali. Ele acertou um bom golpe e conseguiu acabar com o luto. Yeah, he threw a cross on my chest, which I wasn't expected. Then I threw a punch and he came back with another cross. And that was that. I think that we need the rematch. It was really not a fight. So we need to get back in here. It, it was certainly a fight. It was just a fight that happened and ended very quickly. How much of all of his taunting and all the insults, how much did that affect you? And what was that like to be disrespected like that? A luta ocorreu, só que ocorreu muito rápido, né? Tudo que ele falou, tudo que aconteceu, como que isso te afetou aqui na luta? Ah, não afetou em nada, não, cara. É... Ele pode ter falado o que for. Eu nunca caio em provocação nenhuma, cara. Eu, tô, eu fico bem, com a cabeça bem tranquila ali dentro. Eu tenho que chegar lá dentro e fazer meu trabalho. Ele foi feliz hoje, acertou um bom golpe. Eu acho que a gente tem que partir para outra agora. Agora estou esperando a revanche aí. Preciso ser na próxima, voltar muito mais treinado e reconquistar o que é meu. It didn't affect me at all. I really don't care what he says. And, uh, you know, we're going to have to come back here and it's on to the next at this point. You've had some amazing fights and an amazing reign as a champion. And I look forward to seeing you inside the Octagon again. Thank you very much for everything. Valeu, galera do Brasil. Muito obrigado pela torcida. A gente é positivo em todo mundo. É, isso faz parte, é um esporte. A gente perdeu hoje, mas se Deus quiser, a gente perdeu a batalha. Não, a guerra, se Deus quiser, vou voltar mais forte. Conquistar para vocês. Muito obrigado pela torcida de todos. Valeu, galera. Um grande abraço com Deus. Thanks for everyone watching in Brazil. This is a sport. It's a fight. This is what happened. Thanks for everyone staying up. I'll be back. Jose Aldo, ladies and gentlemen. First loss in over a decade. Our official decision was brought to you by Metro PCS, where you get nationwide coverage on the blazing fast 4G LTE T-Mobile network for just $30, period. And now, as we know, with the victory, Conor McGregor joins Ronda Rousey on the cover of EA Sports UFC 2, available this spring on Xbox One and PS4. EA Sports UFC 2 invites you to finish the fight, just like McGregor did in only 13 seconds. Check it out on easports.com slash UFC. And the next time we see all of you on pay-per-view, we will be right back here inside the MGM Grand Garden Arena when the ruthless one collides with the natural born killer. Winning in the belt was an amazing step, but I'm not done. I'm not ducking or running from anybody. I'm driven to get that title, and I can finish anybody in the division. This fight's gonna be violent.